welcome all today i am going to discuss about the defect life cycle so here is the defect life cycle flow diagram and uh, you can understand it easily as it is self explanatory so here you can see that uh, the defect life cycle starts from the uh, from the uh, when tester locks a new bug so when tester locks a new bug it comes as a new or open so it means new and open is the first stage of the defect so now after that tester assign the bug to the developer so when tester assigns the bug to the developer the bug or defect comes under the state of assign now what ha what happens when bug is assigned now it is a role of developer to work on the defect so now when developer work on the bug and fix it then the stage of defect comes to the fix state now after fixing after fixing again tester retest the bug to verify whether bug is fixed or not so if the bug is fixed in that case tester change the status or you can say send the status of the defect to the closed and if still tester found that issue still exists in that case he just reopen the bug so reopen the bug means again the bug goes to the plate of assigned person means the developer so it means again it comes to the assigned thing so this cycle will keep on running till the time bug is not fixed or it is not closed so this is the one straight forward scenario now there is one other case in the this defect life cycle and what is that case when the bug is opened when a new bug is logged and when it is assigned to the developer developer analyze the bugs and he found if he found that the bug cannot be fixed the bug cannot be fixed in that case we mark that bug cannot be fixed and what can be the reason that bug cannot be fixed mainly the reason is that because the issue cannot be fixed in the technology which is used in the software development like maybe uh, the issue is uh, developer cannot fix the issue in the uh, you can say software maybe uh, software uses java c sharp some language and that is not possible in that particular case so in that case issue developer just mark that it cannot be fixed now second what happens that some time same bug whenever developer assign a new bug to the developer what happens in that case maybe this bug is already logged by someone some other testers or maybe the same tester so in that case developer just mark that bug to the duplicate now third scenario now the third scenario is that when developer analyze the bug then he found that okay actually the bug which is logged by tester is not actually a bug or defect it is not actually a defect so in that case he simply rejects and what can be the reason the reason can be that uh, it is you can say there is some configuration issue like like tester when tester was testing the uh, testing the uh, you can say particular test case he forgot to configure some setting for that and he found the bug so maybe to uh, you can say uh, because tester has not uh, make the pro proper configuration for that test case scenario that's why they tester found a bug on that so in that case also developer just mention the reason and can mark the bug as not a defect now the fourth scenario is that when developers found the bug and he when he was trying to reproduce the bug so that he can understand the bug and then can work on the fixing part he found that actually bug is not reproducible so when bug is not re re bug you can say developers make a uh, two three or several uh, uh, times he try to attempt to reproduce the bug but still the bug is not re reproducible he can mark the bug not reproducible now 
the you can say uh, one another or fifth scenario can be that when developer found a bug or developer a bug is assigned to the developer developer found that this is not a bug actually this you can say this is actually not a bug for the current release means actually it is a bug but this bug not need to be handled in the current release so that's why he can mark that i am going to postpone it he mark it postpone and postpone mean we are going to handle it in the future release now the sixth scenario can be that when developer is assigned a bug developer found that that this is actually not a bug it is logged by a tester just just as a bug but actually it is a new enhancement it is some new change so that is called rfe request for enhancement so this is uh, this is you can say maybe happen due to some gap between the developer and tester developer do not know whether it should be uh, it, it it should be the part of the you can say new new change or it should be the part of a requirement current requirement okay so in that case in that case a uh, developer just mark the bug or defect as request for so i hope i hope you got the understanding on this pro uh, proper defect life cycle okay if you have any doubt you can put, put your doubts uh, in the comment of this video and if you like the video and its content you can subscribe to my channel thank you